many motivational speakers, leaders say this line which I definitely agreed with for a long time and to some extent I still do which is who will cry when you die? Who is going to cry when you die? I mean what is going to be your legacy? I think that's a very important thing to think about. Actually who will cry when you die? You know that's something that many people I know think about that when I'm gone from this world you know after my death is done who will cry and for how many days while that's a valid question to ponder on I think there is a there is a much more deeper and there is a much wiser question to ask yourself right now and that is not who will cry when you die that is who is going to support me while I cry now while I'm alive who's gonna give me the shoulder who's gonna give me the support who's gonna give me the listening who's gonna show some empathy without sharing about my personal thing to other people who is gonna be my friend right now while I'm alive some people will cry the family members will cry for one day family members will cry for two days after you die anyway and after that you know the life moves on you have seen that probably you have seen some deaths in your family maybe you have seen some people hi Apurva you have seen some people who who die and you feel like oh my god how, how could this happen how will I live now well you are alive you are alive so a death is shocking in the beginning and normal after three weeks and forgotten after three months and of course you remember those people so the question is not who will cry when you die the question is who's supporting you now while you cry when you are alive you know something that that breaks my heart is a lot of people for sure really are crying because of Sushant Singh Rajput's death but how many of these crores of people really supported him while he was alive and I'm not asking okay how many people went to his home to listen to his story I'm saying how many people actually went to his went to support his movies I mean one thing to do is yeah 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 Dhoni movie fine Dhoni movie fine but have you supported his study have you donated anything yet for this foundation that, that is being built up or more than anything else right now have you are you carrying forward his legacy by you implementing instead of just crying what are you doing how are you being an example oh well he was a gentleman great are you a gentleman well he was a great person you know who was a who was fascinating fascinating and fascinated about constant studies about astrophysics and so and so well what about you because people will judge you people judge a religion not based on the books people judge a religion by the person preaching that religion it's you so I encourage you to create some friends in your life some real friends not the fake friends on Facebook you might have 5,000 people or 2,000 people or 600 people you might have you know thousands of followers on YouTube or email list that's not what I'm talking about it's not about who will cry when you die it's about who's gonna give you the shoulder for you to cry on and give you the support while you cry while you're alive the biggest misery I feel for corporate leaders you know because I train a lot of corporate leaders CEOs vice presidents and all of that one of the things I see many times is this I'm reminded of this specific story I'll not tell the name one of my clients her father died in 2014 one month before he came to me for coaching hello Akhil Fazmil all of you watching hello 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 just put a comment below so I know you're watching just say uh, live or just say replay if you're watching replay or say live in the comment below uh, but I remember 2014 one of my clients came and said to me um, when we were we met um, we had a conversation and she told me you know Vishal my biggest sadness is right now I said what she said my father passed away last month but that's not the biggest sadness I said then she said, my biggest sadness, hi Nishi, hi Kamini, she said, my biggest sadness is even though my father 
was the center head uh, you know in the management of a bank he was in the top position when my father died none of those people from the bank showed up they sent messages on whatsapp and sms saying my condolences you know sad to hear about the expiry about you of your father sorry to hear about the death of your of your husband and then she told me hey stella then she told me that many times i called all those people that please come and and support my mother please come and support us after the death can i mean can you imagine after somebody's death you having to call those colleagues to come almost begging them to come to the shrad not inviting begging this is what happens many times so it's not about who's crying after you're dying it's because many times we don't have those friends we don't have those those allies we don't create the tribe and that's why i'm fascinated by real world relationship that's why instead of focusing just on social media i focus on real life you know connecting with my clients connecting with my friends calling them thank you akhil calling people messaging people you know kamini and i kamini sharma hello uh, we just chatted via messenger after almost 8 years we have known and i was like hey when can we meet let's have some coffee because that's human relationship my friend alexandria agresta from us always says this line she says that that i that i love so i adore this line she says she says human connection trumps technological automation look we can have all the automation in the world we can you can and you, i mean even in technology you can send one message to multiple people and all that but when you really deeply care about people right like akhil is saying i'm watching your videos since 2015 not just because of my content but understand there are two things that people listen to you for or follow you for your competence and your character competence is what you're good at and i know you're good at what you do that's why you are here in my friend list but also your character i'm not talking about just the character you have in person but the character that people get to see not your reputation don't mix it up with that but character of you know telling you telling your story right you being vulnerable you i mean i was so fascinated see kamini is here you know she i i i didn't know about her birthday right so i asked her hey when is your birthday and she said same as yours in jan wow she remembers me and my birthday after 8 years of con- not having a conversation i my heart melted and i felt so good i felt so special because she is a great leader she, that's why she has people to support her because she goes first and supports people she is there for people i'm sure for her family for her friends for her colleagues for her clients for her for her community what about you how are you showing up so so that people are not just so you know people are not crying when you are dying but people are giving you smile and people are giving you shoulder to cry on cry on when you are sad when you are alive like i said it's not about who will cry when you die it's about who's going to give you the shoulder of support while you cry while you are alive does that land for you is that making sense if it's making sense show me some love and heart sign so i know it's landing for you i'm going to probably take the video off later on but hope you enjoyed the tip can't wait to meet you in person in near future can't wait to apart from all the things going on we're going to we're going to use all the hand sanitizer and all that but i can't wait to shake your hand i can't wait to give you a hug i can't wait to sit down with you with a cup of coffee or tea and hear your story and see how i can support you and even if i can't help you maybe i can just listen to you i mean so often what you know this is something i i often talk about to my friends that i have gone through clinical depression i've gone through mental health challenges and many times all i wanted was my family to listen to me did i get that support sometimes did i always get the support no and i think it's i don't blame them it's because everybody is dealing with some kind of problems your problems will not be understood by people around you just because you expect i'm sure you have some friends some family members that you think that um you know that person has to understand me not everybody else that person that person might be going through some of their shit they don't might not have time for you 
And that's why it's important to find the right people. Not the perfect people, but the right people. So it's not about, like I said, I'm, I'm drilling the point over and over again. Thank you, Stella. Yeah, it's the neither, the R. That's why I say it's not who will cry when you die, which is a great book. But it's about who's going to give you the shoulder while you cry, while you are alive now. Because if people don't give you the support now, I mean, people supporting you after the death for two days by giving you some fruits to your family and some flowers, <laughs> it's, it's good. But the time is now. So I want you to look at your phone book, maybe. Take your phone. This is my backup phone. Take your phone. Look at your contact list. Not the recent call list, but the contact list. And see some of the people that you have saved their number, but you haven't called them probably in the last. Maybe you took their number in 2015 or 2012 or 2018, doesn't matter, three months ago, you thought, I'm going to call. When the time is perfect, I'm going to call. I'm going to call. Maybe take a small text, checking in. I was thinking about you while watching a video recently on Facebook. Thought about you. Hey, how are you doing? And tell their name. How are you doing, Vishal? How are you doing, Akhil? How are you doing, Stella? How are you doing? Hello, everybody. How are you doing, Alma? How are you doing, Pramod? Just send a text message. And when they reply, ask them to explain if they say I'm doing very good or if somebody says I I'm going through a challenge don't say oh everybody goes through a challenge that's the, the stupidest thing you you know anybody can say and I know you won't do that so what can you say say hello Sandhya if somebody says I'm going through a challenge tell them hey what do you mean and please for God's sake do not try to solve their problem do not do that you listen to the problem. I mean, imagine you go to a doctor and you say, my hand is hurting. And the doctor says, oh, wait, wait, wait. This is the prescription. You don't want that. You don't want the doctor to listen to the God that I'm paying. I'm having this pain. Oh my God, it's happened this way. The doctor hears. Says, okay, great. What else? Do you have anything else? Once you are done. And he says, okay, can I give you some pills? Yes. Now you're accepting it. People want the same thing. People want to be heard. Everybody wants to be heard, seen, and felt. There are people in your contact list that one day you cannot call because they will not be here anymore. Five people. That's all I want from you today. Five people. Can you text five people? Five new people. Text them. Check, check with them. How are they doing? Check. Hello, Monsieur. How, how are they doing? If they need anything. If they are going through a tough time or a good time, maybe you can give them a call. Don't try to solve a problem here. Just listen to the problem. When you feel their problem, you help them heal their problem. Hope you have a great day today. That's all I got today. If you enjoy the tip, if you enjoy the video, leave a comment here. And if you're watching a replay, let me know what was your biggest takeaway in today's video. Remember, it's not who will cry when you die. It's who will give you the shoulder to cry on while you cry right now while you are alive. Vishal Sadkar here reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection. It's all about connection.